everybody, this is Nicole here from Profit From Property. Today, I will be sharing on how an overlooked key fundamental that is supply can determine your profit margin. Supply refers to upcoming residential supply and existing residential supply in your area or potential areas you may be buying into. Using the following analysis, I will show you how I shortlist both homestay and investment condo units that help my homeowners retain longevity in its property's value. Let's take a look at the first analysis where this particular condo is located in an undersupply area with no immediate upcoming supply within its vicinity and see how it fares. Grandeur 8 located in Ang Mo Kyo, this condo has a total of 579 units and obtained TOP in year 2005. Even though the development is of certain age, 17 years old to be exact, majority of the first-hand owners that bought units in 2003 to 2004 here have recently made profits in the range of $800,000 to $900,000. The highest profit recorded has even gone up to $1.093 million. In fact, what's noteworthy is we see that even resale buyers who bought their second-hand units between year 2014 to 2017 still enjoy good profits in the range of $200,000 when they resell their units. Here's another condo, Bishan Loft, which obtained TOP in 2013, a 19 years old property. Similarly, Bishan Loft having no existing or immediate residential supply in the area, first-hand owners who bought their units in 2001 have all profited from being in an area that has little to no competition. In fact, 14 owners have profited above a million dollars. Second-hand buyers who bought their units in 2014 to 2017 still enjoy decent profits of $100,000 plus as well. For older resale condos where buyers are second or third-hand owners, this is considered quite a good performance as while they are staying in the unit, they are still able to enjoy some form of appreciation even after a couple of years when they decide to sell. Now let's delve into an area that is the exact opposite of the first two examples I've shared. Tampanese Avenue 10 with plenty of existing upcoming supply of both condos and executive condominiums in this area. Along this stretch, there are a total number of seven developments in this area that encompasses 4,521 residential units excluding the upcoming Park Central Executive Condo. We have the Tropica TOP in 2000 with 537 units, Waterview TOP in 2014 with 696 units, Q-Bay, TOP in 2016 with 630 units. The Santorini, TOP in 2017 with 597 units. The Alps, TOP in 2019 with 629 units. Up at Tampanese, MOP in 2019 with 574 units. And the Tapestry, TOP in 2021 with 861 units, being the newest development to obtain TOP in the same vicinity. We will have a look at Waterview that obtained TOP in 2014. It's only an 8-year-old development, being much newer and younger than the earlier two condos Grandeur 8 and Bishan Loft mentioned. Yet we can see that the units that bought within the same duration in the year 2014 to 2017, this time round, the owners made losses as high as up to $125,000 instead of making profits and with a total of 19 unprofitable transactions recorded. And those owners that did make profits are only hovering around $25,000 to $80,000. Why the stark difference in performance is because we are buying into a resale development in an oversupply area. After Waterview TOP in 2014, we had Q-Bay that TOP in 2016, followed by the Santorini in 2017 and the Alps and Tapestry in 2019 and 2021 respectively. This caused the prices for Waterview to decline and remain stagnant due to the influx of supply of these newer condos. As buyers do have an array of choices, Waterview owners will face competition from the newer TOP projects and this in turn affects the prices that their units can command. Now we will look at the Alps, which is one of the newest developments in the area. Launched in 2016 and TOP in 2019, we see a total of 53 profitable transactions to date and zero unprofitable transactions, with the highest profitable transaction recorded at $464,000. The clear trend that we can see here is that once there is a significant amount of new supply coming into the area, the profit margins for older condos become slimmer. And also, the newest condo within an oversupply area normally experiences higher gains like the Alps. 
Santorini profited more than Waterview and likewise Alps being the second newest condo made more gains than Santorini. A pro tip, if you are choosing to buy into an area with plenty of supply, ideally the newest condo amongst the rest will fare better in terms of holding its property value. When purchasing a home, it's important to take note of what are the upcoming supply in your area is and if it is better to sell earlier before the supply of the new developments are built or to continue holding on to your existing unit. Here's the last example, the Panorama, located at Amokyo Avenue 2 with a total number of 698 units and TLP in 2017. This development is located in an area with no immediate neighbouring condos in its vicinity. Being the only new condo in the area, the owners made handsome profits when they sold their units in the resale market. With a whopping total number of 120 profitable transactions and zero unprofitable transactions, we can see a good handful of owners making $300,000 and above. With the highest profits achieved at about $530,000 in just four years. That's all for today's sharing. Do note that there are many other considerations and components to look at and analyze in certain areas. If you would like to know more about how to select the areas for your upcoming property purchase, do connect with me. If you found this video insightful, please also like, subscribe and share. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.